for appeal last month. China denies allegations of crimes against humanity towards the Uyghur population located in northwest China. Well, we go live now to Rushan Abbas, who's the founder and executive director of the non-profit group Campaign for Uyghurs. She is an activist and her group was nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize last year. She joins us now from Fool's Church in Virginia. Rushan, thank you very much for joining us. First of all, tell us a little bit about the work that Rahila Dahoot carries out. Thank you, Anjana. Raila Dawood is an internationally recognized Uyghur intellectual and an expert in Uyghur uh, traditional culture and the folklore. And she has written many uh, publications and also given lectures in the worldwide in the different platforms and stages. And she is highly respected among the Uyghur diaspora community for being one of the prominent scholars in the Uyghur academia. But so very is, sadly. So what is your reaction then? I'm sorry to interrupt you there, Rushan. What is your reaction then to this reported life sentence? Well, um, extremely upset because um, she is sentenced for a life in a secret trial uh, by you know, so-called uh, splitism charges and endangering the, uh, the government uh, uh, national security or whatever the uh, terms that they use uh, to justify its crackdown on the Uyghurs. The uh, Chinese communist regime regards any academic study of Uyghur culture as a threat and uh, which demonstrated by this um, uh, imposition of a life sentence on the Raila Dawood. Her only crime is being an Uyghur and being an Uyghur anthropologist. Her story intensively illustrates the Beijing's um, ruthless elimination of the Uyghur culture through this modern genocide as she represents hundreds and thousands of uh, Uyghur scholars, writers, professors, university presidents, and the doctors and the philanthropists. So the uh, Chinese Ministry of Affairs spokesperson, Mao Ning, said she had no information on Dawood's case but ha did also say that China handles cases in accordance with the law. Um, Rushan, I know that you have your own experience because your sister is also detained. Do you know where your sister is and, and, how, long she's, and how long has she been detained for? Yes, in uh, September 2018, just six days after my first public speech at the uh, Washington think tank, um, my own sister, Gulshan Abbas, was unjustly detained by the regime as a retaliation for my uh, exercise of free speech as a U.S. citizen. And this month, we just marked the fifth year anniversary of her detention. And we don't know anything about her uh, condition of her health or we have not given any proof of life. And the Chinese regime has maintained silence regarding her situation while their media outlet, the China Global Times Network, attacked me and accused me of stealing other people's photo and claiming my missing sister and lying about her detention. And then two years later, uh, the Chinese Foreign Ministry of Foreign Affairs um, in late 2020 confirmed her wrongful imprisonment and uh, based on all the ridiculous fabricated charges, uh, they sentenced her harshly. My sister is a retired medical doctor and she has no political history. She's just a mother and a grandma who continues to suffer in prison today. So what can families like your own and uh, Rayla de Hoots do in order to try and work out, first of all, where their relatives are and help them to freedom? Um, unfortunately, we don't have much help, um, although in August 31st, 2022, the UN Human Rights uh, Council released the Uyghur report and said China's crimes may constitute crimes against humanity, and they confirmed everything we have been saying for years. But uh, what hinders the international community from preventing this massive genocide? A year passed, nothing has happened. Nothing has changed, actually. While facing China's horrific actions, the global response has been painfully slow and hesitant. We have witnessed history unfold and our effort to prevent um, never again is already delayed. 
China continues its Uyghur genocide with no signs of any stopping. So families like Raila Dawood and myself, my sisters, daughters, and then uh, just recently, um, just today actually, we have a nine years anniversary date of uh, another professor, prominent Uyghur professor, Ilham Tohti. Nine years ago, he was arrested. So this is happening in today's world and information era and 21st century, but families has absolutely no information while Chinese government is denying any wrongdoings and spreading disinformation and false propaganda about the Uyghurs. Rushan, thank you very much uh, for talking us through your own experience and for giving us some background on Raila Dahoud as well. And thank just you, thank you. And just to reiterate, China denies um, any crackdown in the Uyghur region and says it handles cases in accordance with the law.